Hello, family and friends of Seward United Methodist Church. This is Reverend Mary Kay coming to you for midweek devotions. Can't believe it's the end of September already, but here we are. What I want to do today is share a little bit of an update from the Gather and Grow team. Now, if you're not quite certain what the Gather and Grow team is, it's the group of folks from our congregation that are the capital fundraising team for our dreamed of, envisioned, nearly completely designed building project. I hope many of you were able to attend the updates about the building project that we had in August, or if not attend in person to see the video that has been shared on our church website that provides the update. We just videotaped one of those updates for folks to see. We are almost completely finished with the design phase of the project. And now we're entering into the fundraising phase of the project. And the capital, the Gathering Grow team is the capital campaign team. And they've been working very hard for several months now. On that team are Lori Schreiner and Kirsten Hill and Carla Schwan and Leanne and Roy Joseph and Jim and Megan Quist and myself. So if any of you want to talk to one of us about how you can support the building project, we would be happy to talk to you. Now, all the members of the Building Improvement Committee and the Capital Campaign Gather and Grow team have made commitments to the project, either given donations, filled out the pledge card, or have made a solid commitment to support this project. And that represents 11 households. We've had a few others that have also made commitments and donations, as well as our Seward UMC Foundation has pledged $150,000 to the project. So, so far, right now, at this moment in time, we have more than $430,000 pledged or given for this building project. And that's wonderful news. Our ultimate target goal is 2 million, and we wish to have commitments of 1.75 million before we put the project out to bid. We want to be very intentional about this project and to make sure that we have the support and the funding needing, needed to see it through without burdening the church with any kind of long-term debt. So, that is our goal and our commitment, and we hope that you will support this project to the best of your ability. So you may get a phone call from the Gather and Grow team. You may hear the Gather and Grow team speak in worship. You may see the brochures of Gather and Grow around the sanctuary. You'll see the bulletin board up in the hallway, and we would greatly appreciate your support of our project for making the church more accessible, more welcoming, and better able for, for better functioning and more effective functioning here in the 21st century. It's such a wonderful building. And this update will really make a difference. More parking, an easier way to drop off, and restrooms close to the sanctuary. Yay! So hope many of you will support this project to the best of your ability. The Gather and Grow brochure kind of gives an aerial view of what it will be, as well as a floor plan and kind of an artist rendering of what the space might look like and details of the project. These are available at the church, or we would be happy to mail you one. Also on the brochure is a prayer. So this is the other way I am inviting everyone 
to support this building project. And that's to pray for this project, to pray that this is in keeping with God's will, that it will be a project that can draw our congregation together and energize us as we continue to make a difference in Seward and beyond. And so here is a prayer you may pray every day. You may write your own prayer. I'm going to invite you to pray with me now as I share this prayer. Let us pray. Holy God, you who built the universe, lead our congregation in our Gather and Grow building project. We are grateful for our faith ancestors who established this church. Thank you for a vision of how we can adapt and expand our building to be more welcoming, more accessible, and better equipped for ministry in today's world. Guide this project, O oh God, and help us accomplish it. Through generosity and working together, grant that we may easily raise the funds needed. As we work, draw us closer together as a congregation. Deepen our care for one another and enable us to continue making a difference in Seward and beyond. Amen. For every gift that supports this project, we are grateful. This is second mile giving above and beyond what you typically give to support the ongoing ministries and operations of the congregation. And we are grateful. We are grateful for every pledge that comes in, for every donation that is received. Thank you. And if you have any questions, just let us know. Hope to see you Wednesday night at Focus and Sunday for worship. God bless.